First race field swings off the turn through the stretch. We have a recall, though. As the field entered the stretch, it was put under a recall by the starter. A recall is signaled for the first from Woodbine. We are under a recall. The first race from Woodbine Racetrack in Toronto, Canada. The 2001 Breeders' Crown Championship Final two-year-old Philly Trot. And they're off. And a big start is coming from Curitiba at the extreme outside. Cameron Hall is leaving hard. Kibitzer Hanover may be fastest of all. Emotional Rescue leaves well along the inside. Missy's Goldfire trotted out into the top five. There's Windy Lane Hanover six, but she's extremely wide. Out around Symphony Hanover. Off stride leaving was Glide Path taken out of harm's way. Second to last, Universal Victory. ENS tag session is back down trotting after an early break. And Cameron Hall and Mike Lachance have made the lead. Windy Lane Hanover and Campbell went on a break. Windy Lane Hanover was on a break. Cameron Hall overtook Kibitzer Hanover for the front in 27 and 2. Uh, Cameron Hall, the post time favorite, has set up shop early on the front end. She's got a two length cushion and under a tight rein for Lachance on the way to the half. That's Kibitzer Hanover racing along in second. Emotional Rescue is third. Missy's Goldfire from fourth. Curitiba trying in fifth. Two more lengths to Symphony Hanover. The sixth one, Universal Victory, is seventh. ENS Tag Session is eighth. Windy Lane Hanover is out of contention and trailing the field also out of it is Glide Path. That was Cameron Hall passing the half in 58 and 3, 31 and 1. Her own second quarter, she's three eighths of a mile away from a Breeders' Crown title. That's Cameron Hall onto the final turn on Kibitzer Hanover looking to come out from third. Here comes Emotional Rescue. Kiratiba is up on the outside, second over, and Missy's goal fire trots well into the top five. Universal victory is six to the flank of Symphony Hanover. ENS tag session is eighth by two more lengths and out of it earlier were Glide Path and Windy Lane Hanover. Cameron Hall is about to be joined at head stretch. Looming very bold is Emotional Rescue and Willette. 128 and four. Three quarter time. It's a stretch long nose to nose duel in this breeder's crown. Cameron Hall goes under heavy urging. Maybe with her number is Emotional Rescue. This is very emotional theater in the start of the Breeders' Crown, and all along Cameron Hall was just having a ball. She trotted back away to win the Breeders' Crown over Emotional Rescue and Missy's Goldfire, and Cameron Hall does it in 157-3. and one Breeders' Crown Championship night is the two-year-old Philly Trot champion, Cameron Hall. Bred by Walnut Hall Limited and Claudine Conway of Lexington and Georgetown, Kentucky. Garland Lobel, two-year-old Bay filly from Ken Angus. Her fourth win in five career starts. She set the Woodbine track record here in her elimination last week. Makes it the Breeders' Crown title on her two-year-old resume, which is going to push her life's earnings to almost half a million dollars. With the infield winner circle presentations, to Cameron Hall and Connections. Bruce Lloyd and Mr. Harold G. Ship from the Board of Directors, Honorary Director of the Woodbine Entertainment Group, and by Mr. Tom Crouch, Director of the Hamiltonian Society and owner of Kentuckiana Farms. Chance in the winter circle at Woodbine. Uh, Mike, you've had some kind of a time this season. We've seen you here for the North America Cup. Uh, also, after the Metro Pace, are you having as much fun this season as you've ever had in your career? Uh, so far, I think it's, it's going to be my, uh, my best year uh, so far in my career. So, you know, it's great. You've got to uh, give an awful lot of credit to the types of horses you've been able to drive. And uh, this colt seemed to respond so extremely well. This filly, I should say, when you reached the head of the stretch and had some pressure. Yeah, the, she's a green filly, and uh, the recall didn't help. She got a little uh, hyper. And uh, so I was afraid that uh, I was going to have a hard time to get away at the gate. And uh, but you know she's she's, she's, she's got some class there. When I turn, like I uh, just protect her a little bit, and in a stretch there, when I ask her, she had more in the tank. So she's uh, she digging in at the end, and uh, she shows some class. Hope to see you a little bit later on tonight, Mike. As well, uh, how badly do you want that one with Better's Delight? Well, every every time that I'm in a race, I want to win the race, but. Uh, a race like that, you know, I surely want it, but I'm not the only uh, the only one that wants to win races there. So, you know, it could be tough, but I hope so. Hopefully, I could uh, get him there. Okay, well, Mike Lachance is off to a terrific start so far this evening. Winner with, winning with Cameron Hall, just three fifths of a second off of the lifetime mark that she set in her limb last week.